Hi everyone, it's Jack here at Main Skill. So I hope you're all okay. Thanks for tuning in again. Thanks for watching the YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell everyone about it. Like the video if you like the video. So what we're on with today is we are on combining again. But we are on with doing our beans. So these are our beans. These are spring beans. So we'll be feeding these to the cattle. That's what we grow these for. So um, we quite like the beans because uh, they're good for protein beans, full of protein, high in protein. So uh, you like protein to be fed to your animals because uh, when you have young stock you want to give them a lot of protein to make them grow big and framey to get plenty of frame about them but then you want to build up the energy to uh, finish them off but you need that protein to make sure that they grow in the actual in themselves and become a bigger animal so um, we like the protein so um, we use these beans for a few things some of them we use in the feeder wagons mixing for some of the younger stock but then also because we have the calves and the lambs uh, the calf creeps and the lamb creeps we mix them up in the feeder wagon buy a little bit of concentrate in just for the extra stuff that they need a bit of minerals we buy in to go into it but then uh, the wheat uh, we use wheat barley beans we use all them to feed to the stock so we put them into the creeps as well so we're on combining them now so they're not looking too bad so there's still a bit of green in them but we um, we've tested them they've coming off about 20 percent so it's about as good as they're going to get now really so um, they might get better but by the time you're waiting for them to get better uh, the weather can soon alter this time of the year so you'll either miss them getting drier and end up doing them this anyway but pushing yourself back longer or you'll get them off but you won't be able to get the next crop in because you'll leave them too late so we're taking them off even though they're about 20 percent and we're actually it's a first for us but we're going to put them onto a drying floor so i'll sh maybe show you that as well we'll see how we get on with the video but we're going to put them on a drying floor uh, and a fella up the roads so that's what we're on with uh you can see the beans coming out here so they're not looking too bad there's plenty of them fairly coming out so looking good so it doesn't seem to be a bad crop um, they're not the best yielding thing beans at all uh, they don't have the best of yields whereas uh, we've done the wheat and we've done about four and a half ton uh, maybe a bit iron four and a half five ton we've done with that the barley we did just shy of four ton uh, spring barley was down it was less it was about two and a half ton but spring barley is never as good but then beans I you look if you get about two ton honestly so we'll see how we do with them see what comes off we've got 40 acre of them that's next doors so they must be growing some beans as well but we've got this field here I've took the headlands off and broke into it now and then that next field over there so it's 40 acres split in half um, not quite in half There's about 15 acre this side and 25 the other so that's what's going on so far so Matthew's on carting them so I might give him the camera as well to show you but we'll crack on and uh, keep going got the first field finished now so just uh, about to finish it anyway so Matthew's here as well because we're full so there we go the beans are flowing into there now so he's on the other tractor now so we've got two John Deere's on today two 155 hours so Matthew's just switching between both of them because um, back before I get another full trailer so he may as well just cart on both of them and then Ian who's helping on the farm as well he can crack on he started ploughing yesterday so started doing some ploughing we've got some stuff to drill now so um, get these bossed and we'll be able to crack on drilling so we've got uh, 
winter wheat to go in, uh, winter barley to go in. We're growing some winter triticale this time, which we're going to try, so we've never grown that before. Uh, we've also, rather than spring beans, because the field sat there now anyway, ready, um, we're going to try some winter beans, so we'll see how that goes, so they'll be different. And then hopefully, when you grow the winter beans, next year you can get them off earlier than this, and then you'll be able to bang it into wheat sooner. So we'll be able to crack on and get it, because ideally we would have been on drilling by now, but we've just not happened yet. But we'll soon get cracked on once we get started. So as you can see, it's empty now. The last run up here now. And then we're into that field there next to us. That's good. It must be a bean kind of day because next out are on as well. So they've got the new Holland combine going in field next to us here. So he's on with his beans as well. Good, good. Looks like they're chopping their straw though. We're keeping our straw because we need the straw plenty of stock about. So uh, we'll bail it up as well. There's the odd bit of green in it and weather's going to be alright. So we'll leave it for a day or two. But uh, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Still coming in anyway. combined beans so we've got them we've got them into the trailer we saw you loaded Matthew up and now Matthew has fetched them through here so we've come through to Boise's and we've put them on the drying floor so this is the drying floor here so they come in and they were about 20% some were a bit more some were a bit less so they weren't too dry and uh, now Michael's had all of them they're fairly dry so what we're down to now Michael now about I don't know between 7 and 10% I think but they're sort of down to it's probably a little bit too dry really but there you go, so they've soon dried them out, soon got them dried out, so now they're ideal because now we can store them, put them in the shed and we'll be able to feed them to the cattle. So we'll flatten them, we'll roll them and flatten them because if you don't break the beans they can't digest them, so we'll flatten them, then we'll feed them to the cattle. So we'll put some in the feeder wagon and we'll mix some into calf creeps and uh, lamb creeps. That's what we mix them up, as you can see. Looking good. There you go. Ideal. So everyone, that's it, the beans are done, so we've got them finished now, so 40 acre they're finished. Haven't we, Matthew? Yeah, yeah, all done. So Dad's here now. How are you, Dad? I'm here now, ready to take this for you. Yeah, so we're going to take the header through to a farm, and there's just some spring triticale to finish off. So we'll go and get that, and then that's everything done. For the year, another year. So there we go. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the beans, and uh, make sure that subscribe button. See you later.